No one is immune. I have severe acne. It came out of nowhere. It got worse and worse, and it wouldn't go away. From gross anatomy. When I do reveal my scars in public, I can see people are disgusted. You can see it in their face. Scarring. I often itch them so much that it causes them to bleed. Uncontrollable acne. I was a beautiful girl. Since the breakout, I feel like I'm ugly, disgusting, worthless. Watch as we medically transform these patients. What I hope for is a diagnosis and a proper treatment so I can become myself again. It's Gross Anatomy, the Doctor's Special Edition. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. Coming up. About a year ago, my face started breaking out very badly. It came out of nowhere. It got worse and worse. What I want is a proper treatment so I can become myself again. Today we're covering all the health problems that often make people feel embarrassed and uncomfortable. And Brittany's condition has completely changed the way she feels about herself. My name is Brittany. I'm 19 and I have severe acne. About a year ago, my face started breaking out very badly. It came out of nowhere. It got worse and worse, and it wouldn't go away. It started out on my jawline. From there, it spread to my cheeks and to my forehead, and now partly down my neck. Before my breakout, I felt confident. I had high self-esteem. I felt I can go out and conquer the world, and I was a beautiful girl. Since the breakout, my confidence level and my self-esteem have dropped dramatically. I feel like I'm ugly, disgusting, worthless. What I want and hope for is a diagnosis and a proper treatment so I can become myself again. Brittany is here along with dermatologist Dr. Sandra Lee. Welcome. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're the furthest thing from ugly or disgusting or worthless, okay? And, and yet you're suffering from something that is a true medical condition. And, and Dr. Lewis, explain to everyone, because you're so brave to share this, explain to everyone what's going on here. Well, Brittany here has actually a condition in general that affects 80, 90 percent of the population. But in her case, she has a severe form. This is known to many of us as acne vulgaris. But in her case, she has a, a more severe form that we call acne conglobata. And this is because, you know, the mildest form, you get blackheads and whiteheads. They can turn into papules and pustules, nodules and cysts, and that's when we have a potential for scarring. And sometimes they can get to such a level that these nodules and cysts connect or abscesses kind of burrow underneath the skin. Fortunately, there are treatments. So oh, let's, yes. let's walk through Absolutely. those. And I know we're even going to do some of those yeah. today. Are you okay. ready for some You'll treatments? You'll be fine, too, okay? <laughs> One of the most common things that we'll do is certainly if you have more like scars from it or even really inflamed angry lesions, we can inject them with a little bit of intralesional steroids. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do that right now. We're going to inject some of them and make them feel better. You're going to do great, okay? I'm just going to take a little one right here. I'm going to pinch it and wiggle it, and I'll tell you what I'm doing. Okay, just a little baby pinch, just a baby pinch. That's it, like that. That wasn't so bad, was it? I just wiggle you to distract. Oh, just you're nice, doing easy, great. Deep breath, so this is what we do breathing. to kind of inject them. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. That wasn't bad, was it? Eh. No. Okay. <laughs> Can you hold that there just in case? Just want to hold it there. It's just damp because you have alcohol. <laughs> Lastly, we're gonna do another treatment. This is a laser treatment that we can do. This is called the Spectra Laser. I'm gonna put this little lotion. It's just a, it's just a colored lotion because what it does is it stains the surface of the skin, so it's a little bit gray. And what we'll do is when we use this laser, it's just getting rid of that gray and the skin right below it. So it's kind of nice because it um, just exfoliates you. You want to put these on over your eyes, but it shouldn't be painful, all right? You okay? Just a yeah. chunk of it, right? It doesn't hurt, though. You see how it kind of goes away? It really gets rid of that um, superficial layer of skin and really tries to um, exfoliate the skin, kind of give her a little microdermabrasion or a really uh, nice, specific kind of chemical peel. I want to tell you guys that the most important thing for you to do is to really consider starting isotretinoin. That is a medication that really is a home run with acne. And in your case, I think it's very important because you have a potential to scar. So we really want to be aggressive and treat it. Um, side effects, though, are common, like becoming really dry because they're inhibiting, it's inhibiting your oil glands from the inside. So it really is your best bet to improve this. And Dr. Lee has actually spoken with a physician in your area. Dr. Matthew Knight's a dermatologist near your hometown of Orlando. He's willing to follow up with you and work with you on this. How does that sound? Amazing.
And so there, there is hope, okay? Yes. And you're on, you're on your way right now. We're going to get you there. Dr. Lee, thank you for sharing oh, this yeah. with us. Thank you for sharing this with us. We really appreciate it.